digital storytelling in the classroom. This is about a digital storytelling lesson I did on book trailers. And we started with our steps through the digital storytelling process. So step one was to come up with an idea and write a proposal. So to help the students along, I came up with the idea of the book trailers and then I picked the book because we had been reading the book Mr. Popper's Penguins together in class. So this is my introduction that I did in class for them about what we were going to do. And then step two is to research, explore, and learn. And so then they were able to do those things on their own using iPads and computers. So there we have one doing iPads and researching and reading off what she has found. Then step three and step four, we kind of did those together. So step three is write script, step four, storyboard and plan. So here's a quick image of some writing their plans and things. And then step five is to gather, create images or audio or video. So then we took images we found, such as this book cover off the internet, or other images or audio we were looking for from the book. And we also made videos where students acted out scenes from the book. So these are some students. They had really a lot of fun with this project. And there they are acting out and just being silly more research and then they were able to this is some of their storyboards so they were able to draw out some things and write some sentences that had to do with some of the vocabulary with the book and then after we were done with all of that we moved on to step six which is to put it all together so then we were able to use Windows Movie Maker. I like to use that because I'm familiar with it and we have PCs. So then we could take images such as this book cover and put it into Windows Movie Maker and then add more images and audio and edit. Step seven was to share. So we could share on things like YouTube and also we could share using our morning announcements which is also a live stream on YouTube um, and we could also email so then we could email it to other teachers other schools wherever and then step eight is to have feedback and reflect and so if we're sharing on a site such as YouTube we can get feedback pretty easily, such as in the comment section here. This is just some random comments from a random video. And then that's all. And the problem I found with this mostly was that we lacked the amount of technology needed to get this done. So what I did was I stretched out the lesson for several weeks so that we would have enough time to get it done with the technology we had available.